Hello everyone, we're back for my cane girlfriend, and apparently this is the same people. I just had a loaded screen with the same, like, people, like, with the same logo. So yeah, last time we met with Teleste, who was a, who was a cat, but who actually was a cat girl. Yeah. And I was stuck in a cave, and yeah, I guess, subscribe, do all the jazz, comment, yeah. We stood for the blocked passageway, staring in dismay at the rocks. Don't worry, Talisa, I'll get us out of here. I have no idea what I can do to save us. I have no idea. It's completely hopeless. We're doomed. Should we have to dig our way out? Of course, that is bad as it looks. Dig? What, did you bring a shovel? To attempt to move some rocks. Just look, tell us to look out. She don't. I am just in time to avoid another rock roll. It's far too dangerous to try to dig our way out of here. Well, it needs diamondite or something. Okay, do you have to have any on you? Yes, I have some in my pocket. Yes, I can carry it. I carry it just doing explosives everywhere I go. Hey, no need to be so scared. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just stressed. I've been trapped in this case forever. We won't be. I'm sure you'll figure something out. Well, I, no, I'm not digging. I'm not, this is not Minecraft. Like, PewDiePie series going on. We should check out other tunnels. Perhaps this is another way out has opened up. Mean that while this tunnel the mark, there might be another way back to your real world? Exactly. Okay, it's worth the shot. Did you not try? Do you? Is this the only way you know? You walked for miles through the tunnels and come back with right on the way back to my home. It's not good, we're stuck in caves. There is something else we can do. What? Getting you back to my village? I'm sure the mayor will be able to help you get home. Do you really think he will after everything he told me about? Yeah, you know, he was have been rescuing your people. Or does he want to do something for me? Don't worry. I'll explain how nice you'll be to me. I'll persuade him to get you home. Oh, tell me she's right. These can't be what said like they could be dangerous. Come on, follow me. Come on, follow me. Can't wait to show you where I live. Here we are. It's my home. Your village is lovely. It's like being in another world. Whoops, it's very different to our home. I don't enjoy living in the city with you, though. So much to see and do. <laughs> well, I don't know why I was just quiet there. I was just zoning off. This is beautiful, though. It's turned by countryside on all sides. It's a completely different way of life. Though, maybe I, maybe I should persuade you to save home. Oh, then. <laughs> Sacked. I don't know <laughs> what. Uh, maybe because we. Are you owed some vacation? No. I bet, but I can't just walk out with my responsibilities without warning. What responsibilities? You don't have to look after a cat anymore, remember? Ah, that's true. Well, look, once I manage to get back home, I'll rage for some time off and then I'll come and visit. Really? Really, anyway. I'll be able to relax and enjoy myself here not going about my job. Uh, sounds like a plan. Okay. Oh, look. Frankie's over there. Sh she should know where that man is. Frankie. Oh, hey, Frankie. She waved at her friend who came over to see us. Oh, the other girl. <laughs> Frankie, this is my friend. Cat food. <laughs> He's the one I stayed with when I was trapped in the human's world. Uh, I don't know. What oh, she has her arm behind her back. Oh. Thumbnail. I I'm still can't believe I like, zoned off. I don't know what voice I can give you. Hi, it's nice to meet you. Talisha told me that's a lot about of good things about you. Thanks, that's a nice that's nice to know. Wow, Frankie's gorgeous. Talisha said it was right when she said the woman in her world were beautiful. Do you know where the mayor is? I need to ask him to get to help cat get cat food home. I saw him out walking with Hannah earlier, but he should be home by now. Have you seen, have you tried his house? Not yet. I was showing cat food around the village here first. I'll come with you. I need to talk to Hannah anyway. If you will us off to the mayor's house together. The mayor's house is massive. I wish I lived somewhere as big as this. He doesn't live here on his own. Anyone who needs a place to stay is always welcome here. The mayor is very generous. Yes, cat food. You, should, you could stay here for as long as you like. You know, if you decide not to go home. 
Doesn't seem to really want me to stay. Still wondering that she's someone as beautiful as her and her wanted to be interested in me. Well, let's see if the mayor could, can get me home first before we think about that. Toss them locked on the door and one later, a young woman answered. <laughs> Another woman. Wait a minute, she wasn't on the title thumbnail, I think. Oh well, more thumbnails. Jeans. <laughs> That's what I say. Uh, hey, Talisa, Frankie, and who's this? Who's in the village? This is cat. This is cat food. He's a human. I was staying with in the city. Oh yes, uh, the really sweet guy who fed you lots of tuna. It's lovely to meet you. It's lovely to meet you too. Talisa seems seem to have told everyone about me. Wish I knew more about her friends. Anyway, who looked at you, Talisa, the way you did? He's always welcome to in our village. Thanks. <laughs> That's all I care about. Come inside here, and I'll introduce you to, to and I'll introduce you to my brother. He will want to meet you. Good. We were hoping that he, he could help us with a little problem. We trooped into the mayor's sturdy. He looked up from his painful smile spreading across his face when he saw his daughter. Well, apparently he doesn't have cat ears. Mate, what the, f Ernick? Hannah, and you burnt all your friend and a stranger. His face dug in a little when he saw me. This isn't a stranger, Mayor Eunuch. This is cat food. The human who looked after me when I was on my Renaissance mission. I say, I want his hair doing hair. There's a blush. I took him into the cavern because I wanted to thank him for looking after me. But there was a truck fall, and now uh, he's trapped here. You didn't talk him into the caverns? Yeah, and you told him all about us? What were you thinking? I'm sorry, Mayor Enoch. My cat food isn't like the other humans. We can trust him. We can't trust any humans, you know, sure. You know that. <laughs> I know, she was only doing what she thought was right. Hey, don't be a journalist. She's only doing what she's right. My life, my face should know better than to reveal the location of my very dry human. Don't worry, I'm not going to tell you when you're here. I don't think I could find it either with the cave tunnels anyway. They know for one of the natural defenses of predating us. Even so, that hasn't stopped anyone from attacking us. Well, I wouldn't attack you, no, I'm not that big. But anyway, Nick, Kevin's one of the good guys. Besides, I'm not interested in taking over your vert. I just want to go home. Very well, I suppose it's in your best interest to get you to go back to where you came from as soon as possible. Other guys, you tracked for alternate routes through the tunnels. Yes, we went all through the tunnels and the way back to Catherine's world. It's completely blocked. We had to blast our way through. I was hoping you could have some diamond night we could use. Everyone just has bombs and grenades. We don't have any diamond night in our world. Such things aren't outlawed here. Wait, what kind of back one have I ended up in? However, we do have some special type of grass. What? A unique to a particular area in our mountain ranges. Then we go on a journey. Hooray! A unique grass. Let's save the day. I was being sarcastic. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> when I said that anyway, this was a special type of grass, I made mean, it. Most of the time, it just is like any other grass. But treat it properly, and boom. Kami, yeah, your yeah, grass explodes. Wait, no. But if I let you get this time, you have to promise not to tell anyone. When I, enough pressure from unscrupulous humans has other things. For people, how to deal with them when they deserve a plant as well. Don't worry. <laughs> Won't breathe a word about anything we've seen in Wood. Very well, Tata. Take careful to the wage woman who had nothing to have for hands on the mountain. She will tell you why we're going to run out. Yes, man, Nick will. She will turn to leave. I don't know. Yes, man, Nick will. Be careful, careful, he has to break his word. I can rely on you to deal with him. Of course. What does he mean? Do with me? This is good. Hello, anyone home? Rebecca, the wise woman. What is this? Who's there? Do it's me, Delissa. Ah, Delissa. Good to see you. It's been too long. I'm Rebecca. I'm, I'm sorry, Rebecca. I've been on a mission for the mayor. Mm, and who's this young man with you? I don't recall him seeing him before. 
This is cat food. He's the key when I stayed with when I was away. A human. Is that right? The wise woman came up herself at me just like a cat. Hey, can you be a desert? Have you heard of personal space? He me smells like it's a decent to chap. Still, you want to be more careful around him. You can never trust a human. Catherine's okay, he's not like the others. Still, I'm surprised the mayor is letting him stay in the village. Not exactly, in fact, that's why I'm here. The way back to Catherine's home has been unlocked. We need some sort of explosive grass to near the criminals. And the mayor sent you to help me. Say you to me to help you find it. Exactly. Can you tell us where to go? Of course. But I need to warn you before showing the way. What is about what? It will take you a few hours to reach the spot where the grass grows, and you need to be there and back before nightfall. Why? Because if the temperature drops too far too quickly, the grass will explode, and it will be a much bigger explosion than the one you face in the tunnels. Okay, so we'll find some shelter at night. Those explosions can trigger avalanches. There won't be any way you can hide in the mountain falls on top of you. Great, why do I feel like things are going to get from bad to worse? Fine, we'll be quick then. Rebecca laughs. If you do that, if I were you, I'd wait until tomorrow morning to leave. Thanks for that advice. We will bear in mind and die if you could tell us how to get to the grass. It's very easy. There's a path behind my heart. I feel it would matter to make it impossible for the humans to find. I will move the spell so you can see it. Uh, you, all you have to do is follow it to the top of the mountain. The grass is way better. Thank you, Rebecca. You need a picture of your help. Don't think if the mountain blows up on you. The design I left in a wise one. So what would you like to do? Should we risk going up the mountain now or should we head back to my place and get the supplies? Uh, it's on the way. Okay, I think it's right. Is that what you want to do? I don't like this, it's like that. What do we want to do? To do is an avalanche while protecting falling rocks. I love that you wouldn't look into me. But isn't it? Avalanche will both be killed. I desperately want to get into the grass as I so I can go on. I can't also understand that. What's that up ahead? That's like a cave. We're still a few hours with the grass. We can spend the night there and get going and first thing in the morning. Thank you, cat food. That is a much better idea for the risk of our lives for the sake of a few hours. We went to the cave and gathered some moss. And yeah. Man, I'm tired. I mean, two little beds for us, and we were both asleep. As the birds sang the green they buttoned on, make, waking us up, it was time for us to travel off the path to exploring grass. Come on, Kathy, last one on the mountain is a rotten egg. She turned and started running, laughing. I chased after her. Slow down, it's not fair, you're a cat. You're much faster than me. Ah, uh -huh, you're such a sorry loser. Or well, maybe I know that we've got a lot of way to go and we should save our energy for what we make the clearest difficult. Spoil your sport. She pouted, but she slowed down. We walked for highways, but there was no sign. The full grass we could use to buy through the tunnel. How much longer do we have to go? I don't know. We could say we just had to follow the path and we'll get there eventually. I guess she didn't take it into account that he was so slower than cats. I think we ought to find somewhere to camp at night. We don't want to risk being caught up in the avalanche. Yeah, right. It's going to get cold at night. can tell by the way she smells of this little shelter. We'll be sleeping together. <laughs> I'd rather sleep alone. Thanks. Fine. <laughs> That's a rude. rude. Whoops. She sighed, but didn't say anything else. As she sewed together, the other versions of the most of the I didn't mean to set you to leash 
Wir sind in der Team. 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 Did you hear that? Hear what? That rumbling. It sounds like we looked at each other in horror. An avalanche! Watch out, cat food. The rocks are heading straight towards us. If so, I that much? Whether I might block the way to the cloning grass? I don't know. We'll find out next time. Yeah! Subscribe to all the dance. Comment down below. Yeah! Yeah!